that was the first year that I started hitting for power and the hitting coaches at the time and um, Miami were Barry Bonds and Frank Manichino. And obviously everybody who's watching this, you know, who Barry is and, mm -hmm. you know, regardless of your feelings, a guy that's hit more homers than anybody on planet earth, yes. you know, or at least who hasn't played major league, at least major league baseball. <laughs> um, you know, you're going to listen and this, he really knows, he really knew a lot about the game. Like anybody can go out there and hit a homer like you can go deep in a game and you can have no idea why, like, yeah, sure. I hit the ball hard and it went over the fence and mm -hmm. by definition that, that's a home run. But why did that happen? Like what allowed that to happen? And as a young player, I, I never really knew. I was like, Oh yeah, that felt good. That was a good yeah. swing. But why was it a good swing? We're in this cage and it's like tarped in and it's just, it's probably 120 in this thing. And I was trying to find it again. I, I was kind of struggling a little bit and trying to do some drills in the cage. And, and Barry was in there with me with Frank. And, uh, you know, I thought, I always thought as a young player, when I wanted to drive the ball, I would do it with my body. And by that, I meant like, you know, in BP, if you're like, all right, hit a homer and, your, your hip will fly, your front side will fly, everything, because you're, you're just straight yank. Mm -hmm. And that's the complete opposite of what you want to do when you're trying to hit a homer. And so Barry got me in there and spread me out really wide and was like, hit this ball off the front of the plate, like the, the white part of the plate. And I was like, uh, okay. okay, you know, so... <laughs> I he I think he had Frank flip and he was watching, and so I'm pretty I'm spread out to the part, my landing point. So if I did my leg kick and you stride out to where your foot landed, that's where that's how wide I was, and I'm just sitting there. And this is it was a no stride drill, and it was just like hit the front of the plate, and I was like, okay, cool. I, I he throws me the ball, and I got try and chop this shit right off the front of the plate, and I hit it maybe six feet out in front of the plate, like bounce and goes into the screen whatever and he goes i said the front of the plate i was like oh shit all right so back again hit it this time probably like two or three feet and he was like i said right off the plate and i was like i'm trying dude and so i do it again I, I miss again and he grabs the bat and he does it he just pounding balls off the off the plate and i'm like what is going on right here but i was like yeah, i'm just gonna Barry i'm, I'm just riding this out up. right Right, he he grabbed and he like showed me what he was talking about. So he pounded a few. He found pounded a few off the off the plate. So, all right, let's do that. So I I get in, I start doing that, and then after a few of that, he's like, okay, now I want you to, um, you know, chop it where I was originally, like six seven feet out there, like that. And we slowly did that, and we brought the ball up to probably about line drive level where it was just like and i still had that chopping feeling mm -hmm. but you're i wasn't actually like steep down mm -hmm. you know it was just like your path was so short and cleaned up and it was his way of cleaning up his bat path Interesting. when he played and it's a feel you know and thinking that of swing down because you hear the swing down some guys say that still like if you hear the old school or i wouldn't say old school but a rods berries like these guys all talk about chipper they all talk about swing down and that's why they're kind of against the instagram twitter people because they're they're so anti that yes. and if i hit a ball off the top of this cage in this drill i i, I might have got punched in the face you know <laughs> what i mean not literally but it would have it would have been just like a what are you doing moment and so it was like it was creating like true backspin. Like the ball was coming off, and I was trying to hit this bitch straight in the ground, and it was like opposite field, backspin missile up the middle, backspin missile, pull side, backspin, backspin, like true pull side. And I was like, damn, like I've never really done that before. And if I had, it was pure luck accident. And I never really understood it. I was always a guy that just hit and could feel when it felt good, not good. Sure. I just hit. I had no. I had no reasoning behind anything and I was like, man, like, that feels pretty good. And like my, I wasn't, I was hitting against my front side in a, in a sense of where like it wasn't leaking first before I went to swing. And that's why everything was so true. And I was short and I could pull the ball correctly instead of top spinning it or hooking it foul. And I took it in BP that day and 
it was the best batting practice I've probably ever had in my entire life. It was like just homers, like everywhere, all parts of the field. 